Now we're looking at this illustration uh, 21-35. We're still entering enclosures uh, with uh, conduit systems. And let's just review the rules. The very top portion, <coughs> excuse me, deals with explosion-proof enclosures with arcing devices. So we know we have arcing devices. And just all conduits have to be uh, sealed within 18 inches of the enclosure if the enclosure is not self-sealed. Now we find these rules in 501.15A1, item 1, and item 2, and uh, 501.15B as in boy 1, and, that, and, you know, that's Class 1, Division 1, or 2. The next illustration, we're in a Class 1, Division 1, or 2, and we have enclosures housing splices and taps. And notice, the conduit has to be 2 inches or larger than we need a seal. But uh, any raceway system, conduit system, uh, permitted to be used as a wiring method in, in this division, notice that... Uh, uh, you, do, you don't have to seal like a, an inch and a quarter, one inch, uh, half inch, three quarters you see in the illustration, but you're going to have to have that uh, uh, sealing means within 18 inches if it's two inches or larger there as you see in the illustration under the conditions specified there. But we're reviewing NEC 501.15A1 item 1 and uh, A1 item 2 along with 501.15B1 of the NEC. Now looking at class 1 division 2, we have non-explosion proof enclosures. No seals are required as you see there. Uh, and again, entering uh, into these enclosures by the sections we list there. Uh, but look at 501.15B1 uh, and look at uh, 501, I think it's uh, 501.15A uh, 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 21, somewhere in there that you would see the same rule for that. To, to be exact on that, I don't want to give you a, a bad uh, section number here. It uh, actually would be, in Class 1, Division 1, it would be 501.10A1, item number 2, would give you that. So uh, that ought to keep us on the right track. And that's what this figure uh, 21 uh, uh, dash 35 is illustrating to the user of the NEC.